guys and welcome back to Thornton Farm. Now then, in today's episode we are going to be going ahead and uh, cutting the grass and the gardens again. Um, it's about that time of the year again um, where we need to go ahead and cut it. So we're going to take the mowers, um, probably don't need that one but I mean we've got the trailer full already. That one we'll definitely use. And we'll also use the bag. Oh, hello. Uh, we'll also use the one with the uh, box on the back for collecting the grass. So, um, yeah, you guys. I don't know. Didn't really like the fact there were uh, there were a few knaves well, uh, episodes. So um, yeah, that won't happen again. And I know this is a more popular series. I just had to sort of get one of them ahead on the episode numbers. Um, and I just chose names as well, as I think I've neglected that map a bit. I haven't really played on it much. Um, so I thought I might as well play on that for a bit now. Um, so yes. Now, comments wise, I haven't read them out for a while as well either, because I've recorded the past two, no, three videos near enough on the same day. So I haven't had a chance to read out comments, or the more updated comments anyway. Um, so we'll in fact go ahead and do that now. So I'll turn up here. Right. So I'm currently recording this on Friday, so tomorrow is uh, when it will go out. Um, as well, sorry about the driving as well looking for some comments. Oh, now I understand why that comment was put there. Um, I'll go ahead and remove that comment in a minute. Anyway, um, I've got a comment on the Nevesville Farm episode 18, visiting our Irish friends. Um, why is the gameplay laggy? That is probably because of that John Deere tractor. I did notice that. Um, that it was a tiny bit laggy. So I think that's the John Deere tractor, um, except from that nice video. Thank you very much. Uh, that was by Salesby Farming. Um, Bike Life for Life said second hue. I think that's meant to be second view. Um, and yes. Um, James Moss says first. Um, episode 17 on Naveswell. Uh, the bale work one. Dominic Hamill says the pink wrap on the bales in the UK is to support cancer research. Now I have seen quite a few bales like that um, and I'm thinking because well I know that there is a bale wrapper mod um, which does different coloured wraps so that I think there's a green one, there's a wh white, well green wrap, white wrap and black wrap. I might try and edit that so I can get pink wrap on it. And so we can have the pink bale wrap on them. I think that would be just a nice little extra touch. Oh, this is annoying because I can't get this trailer around this corner. I forgot about that. Um, and yeah, and that's not a collision either, is it? Whoops. <laughs> Right, bit of an issue that. Let's see if that brings it forward a bit. No. Right, okay, that's not very good, is it? Um, is that corner that's catching on those strimmers? They didn't have them on there, that wouldn't have that issue. Right. See if we can <laughs> try and get it around there. Get it around a bit more, actually. That's okay. Yeah. Um. 
forgot about that I need to have a different trailer when I come in here because they don't fit around the corner. Anyway, back to this. Um, it is in fact quarter to three, so the, uh, there's currently people still about, so we're going to go for the smaller mower for now. And then when we've got a bit more time later, go ahead, go for the slightly bigger mower, then we can uh, get a bit of a nicer cut and uh, yeah, avoid the people. Um, yeah, anyway, back to the bale wrap. Yeah, I'm going to try and mod one of those things into pink wrap. Um, unfortunately, it will be a private mod because I don't quite like releasing mods. I haven't ever released a mod or anything, as they're not my mods, so I don't really see the need to release them. Someone wanted to go ahead and properly make a bale wrap that was pink or just for example that pickup feel free but yeah I won't be releasing any so you've, you'll have to make them yourselves I'm sorry about that so, yeah so yes right I think with this mode we'll go around the outside to get a very nice cut around here um, Anyway, back to comments. Gorilla Monkey 57 says, "Nice vid again, JH. Looking forward to Thornton on Saturday. My mod is coming soon, so my next vid. So is my next vid keeps up. Thank you very much." Um, Harry Bassett says, "Great vid and great choice of tractor. I was using Valtra that time. Thank you very much." Uh, Zach Blaney says, "Great vid. Please do Thornton." Yep. Helen Bakehouse, great video as always. Thank you very much. I'm not even going to pronounce that or attempt to unscramble the words there. Um, I'll put it's a comment on that video saying, Great vid, man. Please do higher hills. I love the map. Um, yeah, but, uh, that brings me on to the next point actually. Do you guys want to see kind of like a final episode on High Hills and Gelvin Valley? As when these maps came out, I sort of just abandoned that series, those series completely. I moved on to uh, these maps. As in my opinion, they're much, well, they're more the type of map which I'd play on. For example, Naves, well, really nice little map with quite. Well, yeah, a lot of detail as well. Um, I mean, they're brilliant maps. I mean, I wouldn't be able to make a map like that myself. However, I really like a lot of detail on the maps, so that's why I sort of moved to Thornton and Navesville straight away. Um, so, yes. Right. Episode 15, Navesville Farm. Um, comment from Joshua Goad. Could you upload the Land Rover to FSUK, please? Um, no chance to that. Um, simply because the rules on FSUK are you have to have permission from the original author to upload an edit or something like that. Or at least you have the correct credits and all sorts of stuff like that. And yeah, I don't really quite fancy doing that. Plus, I don't know. If, even if I had permission, I wouldn't really, really feel comfortable doing it, as I'm not entirely sure where that Land Rover mod originally came from. And then he replies to that comment, or well, could you do a vid on how to do it? Um, yeah, I did mention that to Evo J, I think I got a comment from him, on one of the videos, and I said I'll probably end up doing a video on it. Um, yeah. So what I think I'm going to do is take the original yellow Land Rover, the Dakar one, um, take that and edit that, or do a video on how to edit that to the version which I have. So that'll be the um, blue one with the white roof instead of the green JH Gamer Videos branded one. Um, 
problems that took a lot more time to do with the light bar and that but there's tutorials out on how to add that light bar anyway in the uh, PDF folder well okay, that mod comes with a PDF file telling you how to do it so if you're really that desperate for the uh, flashing lights on the top you can follow that and so yeah I'm going to do that video a video on how to do that um, next video episode 16 as well farm next one after that anyway uh, nice one JH uh, Gorilla Monkey 57 saying this uh, nice one JH yes the 4 by 4s in the US are massive lizard Tony has some cool trucks. You are getting more subs all the time. Like me, I've got eight, and you have one thousand and eight hundred as well. Thank you guys for all the support on that. It's really quite nice to see this channel grow. And um, yeah, it's really quite nice just to have all the support on that for this channel. Never really thought it'd get this big. I mean, it's a thousand subscribers. It's a thousand individual people which have clicked that subscribe button taking the time to watch the videos and that. Um, so yeah, thanks. Thank you for all the support. Um, and yes. Uh, Family Man says, great vid. Uh, can you get a John Deere 6215R or a 6210R? Maybe. I'll have to have a look for them. I'm not, I'm not incredibly knowledgeable of John Deere. <laughs> Um, I mean, I can tell the difference between the old versions and new versions, and so can quite a lot of other people. I forgot about that. I can actually turn in here and park here. I've completely forgot about that. I should have done that. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm not entirely knowledgeable about John Deere tractors or stuff like that. Like I said, the difference between the old versions and the new versions. That's about it. Um, Zach Blaney says, Will the next Thornton be? Have I already read that? Maybe, I don't know. Um, Angus Rumble says, You should use a Mitsubishi Barbarian. I had a look at them, and in fact, I got a comment about using a Mitsubishi something or other um, but it was how well, it was an SUV as many people call them these days it's a sports utility vehicle and I got a comment about using one of that instead of the pickup truck on here now eh, I mean if I wasn't doing the landscaping on here I probably could switch to that but the pickup truck it's sort of one of those utility vehicles where yeah, they just work and very, very reliable and stuff like that. So that's why I'm using them, not that pickup truck at least anyway. Um, so I won't be switching for a while. The only other vehicle I'd get in place of that pickup is probably the uh, Land Rover Defender 90 uh, Utility Edition. So that's what I'm playing on Naveswell with at the moment. Uh, anyway, next comment, Harry Bassett on Thornton uh, episode 15 says, can you get a JCB fast track? Maybe. Now, I have been thinking about getting or getting another tractor, especially for when I'm doing a lot of hauling work, because 30 miles an hour, it's not that fast at all. That's, that's a speed limit in a village. And when I've got to go from one side of the map to the other, I could really do with it, you know, an extra 14 mile an hour on top of that so that's where the fast track would come in handy um, so if we can save up I think once we get to about 400,000 um, pounds in our bank account here I'm probably going to end up buying one um, just the 32 30 extra nothing not the huge one just the small one because that's all I'd really need it's a smaller fast track. Um, but yes, I think I am going to get one. Um, for example, the New Holland I can stay for the cutting of the grass and the mowers and that. Um, Fent, again that's sort of like just my loader for here. 
Although I have actually got a lot of equipment, so I might have to uh, expand the uh, workshop area a bit now. Or the headquarters. Uh, so next time you watch another fountain, um, you might see that uh, garage area twice the size. If we can buy the field opposite or next to it and expand it that way. Um, but yes. Oops. Where are we? Uh, Kieran Thomas Farmer says use the JCB telehandle mod pack, buy some modding, and use the workshop trailer mod to, uh, to add beacons to it. Maybe. Um, however, one reason why I don't really like using that telehandler is because you have to change the gears. Um, I just find that a bit of a pain. If I, for example, if I, I think it's a Logitech G27 or G, whichever one it is that has the gear stick. If I had one of those wheels, I probably would. Um, but yeah, I, I think on the keyboard it's a, a bit odd when you're steering and then you got to switch the keyboard. And, yeah, it's not the most, not the easiest thing to do. Um, so yes, I won't be doing that. Um, Harry Bassett says, great series, thank you. This is on Thornton, no, sorry, Navesville episode 16. Um, Jay Morris says, could you please do more episodes on Thornton? Yep. Um, in fact, as well, the way that the episodes are now going to work on the maps are it's going to be a Naveswell episode, then a Thornton, then a Naveswell, then Thornton, and so on. Um, just because I know people are getting slightly annoyed that I'm sort of missing out some Thornton, missing out some Naveswell and that. So, yeah, I'm still going to stick with the episode every two days. So it'll be... For example, Thornton, miss a day, Navesville, miss a day, Thornton, so on like that. Um, just because I haven't got the time to be making a video for every single day. I mean, it's currently, what, school holidays, so... I've had more time, that's why these Navesville episodes have been one every day. Uh, but that will soon stop. And yeah, as well, I've worked... People sort of don't have time to watch episode every single day for example when I've been releasing these episodes every single day I've noticed the view count drop and when I normally have the for example news well um, that'd be every other day before I release yeah before I release another one um, I can get a thousand views on them easily but these ones have been struggling for the views sort of um, I don't know if that's because I've sort of overplayed names well a bit, but yeah, I, I sort of think that schedule works a lot better for what I need to do. Um, so yes, that will be sticking like that for now. Anyway, let's jump into this X Mark mower. Oops, I took it off the trailer then. Crashed it. Uh, all right, let's turn this mower on. You get a lot more cut here with this mower. Um, other comments out there. I think I've uh, read out all those comments there actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically what it is up to at the moment. So how are all you guys? You doing good? Um, I'm certainly doing well. As well, um, if I end up, for example, ever missing a video, I will try to get a video out as soon as possible. But sometimes that can be a bit difficult. For example, if I'm really busy that week, I might not be able to get a video out on a certain day or so, something like that. Yeah, for example, during exams and that, um, I well, tried to release a few videos. Um, yeah, obviously, revising that can do. Couldn't release that many videos because I had other more important things to do. 
around. Yes. Please excuse me if I do miss out a video. Um, yeah. <laughs> so our time lapse Tuesday. That should be. I think that's going to be another two weeks until that starts. Still got to get some stuff sorted for that. Yeah. I might add in a couple of farm sim time lapses to that, just because I think it'd be quite cool to do that. Um, but yes, that's how that's going to work. This area is always a pain to mow. There's so much grass. <laughs> it's not as if I can bring the huge mower on here either. I don't know if I could bring the butterfly mowers on here. Or at least buy a butterfly mower. And do it. It's so much easier, but then I've got to do the picking up the grass. And then there'll be tire marks in the grass. But these tires are really quite good. Um, because yeah, the footprint isn't huge on them. But with the tyres I've currently got on the New Holland, it's a bit of a pain. You'd have so many tyre prints in, that, in the grass here, which would be very, very bad. Um, as well, Willow, I think it's Willow Tree Fair. Would you guys like to see sort of like a, a five episode series on that map? Um, because I'm currently playing it just on my own, just personal map. Um, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. And version 1.1 got released. Uh, I think it's a map that's Paradise map actually. It's a really nice, good quality map. Um, a lot to do on it. I'm still getting used to the map. And I've got lost a couple of times and stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's it's got beef and pigs mod as well added to it, which is a nice feature, especially for a map that size. I think it might be only slightly bigger than higher hills. Or just like maybe like higher hills plus the half of higher hills. It's not the biggest map on earth, however it's a really quite a nice map to play on. Uh, I don't like huge, huge maps. For example, if I were to ever play on Galvin Valley again, I'd have to do that multiplayer. It's such a big map, I can't just manage it. I can't manage it on my own. I need It'd be like a 24-7 dedicated server that that would be run on. Or even, um, what was it, Sandy Bay, for example. That's why Flood 7000 Man came in to help. Um, it's because of all of the uh, extra work which needed to be done on there. As well, Flood 7000 Man, if you're watching this, I hope you're feeling better. Yes, a bit of a nasty accident with a warmer and his foot. Um, yes, hope you're feeling a lot better now. As so, well, any mods that you guys would like me to uh, add in, or just even suggest, for example, I'd like to use all the mods you guys suggest, but. For example, that Mitsubishi Barbarian. That there isn't an FS15 model for that. Um, so yes, I couldn't do <laughs> anything with that. I think the Barbarian is, is the pickup. It sounds like a pickup truck name. Um, <laughs> anyway. How long is this episode going to be about? About half an hour, I think. Might be able to get a lot more done. If I can't get all of this done by the end of the episode, it'll be part of next episode. I won't do a whole two episode spread like I did last time I cut this. Um, I'll get. There'll be like a tiny little bit left to do. Anyway, thinking of that actually, pickup truck. Move that round to the uh, front. What time is it? It's three o'clock. The, the house is shut. It's the middle of the week, so there won't be many people about. So we can, in fact, uh, drive up and around. Make sure all these gates are shut first, actually. 
they get rather annoyed if we leave them open. Oh, I was just taking the mower to save us walking. <laughs> It'd be good if we could actually uh, change the speed of this when cutting. And if those. Oh, put the mower on the wrong way. And if those levers there sort of moved, that'd be quite good. There we go. That's the mower sorted. Right, that's not going because the engine is off. We are only allowed to go uh, two mile an hour around here. In fact, no, um, four. I'll we'll go three, why not? It's got to be a walking pace and all the health and safety require us to have all these flashing lights on. It's, <laughs> it's got the uh, what the nine on the back here and the seven on the front. <laughs> and hazards as well, make sure everyone knows we're here. It's a bit easier if we uh, go on the uh, path here. Um, there's one of the grass down here. This is where the uh, original, well, the original, what am I saying? Where the uh, uh, John Deere Gator drives us down this side of the path, so they said that's okay. Never know, this place might expand soon. Might have even more to cut. Or even take care of tree wise and crop wise and that. I really do like this Hilux. It's one of the nicest pickup trucks I've seen yet for FS15. So, easiest thing to do here. Oh, I don't want to run over the children's swing. Last thing we need to do. This place is near enough shut now, um, so we can do that. Right, About two minutes left of the episode, and uh, then we'll have to edit it and upload it ready for tomorrow at 12 o'clock. And I'll record a Naves well tonight as well, I think. Whilst it's uploading, I'll record Naves well. we got the John Deere now as well. Finally I've uh, got a different John Deere to the huge one that I normally used when I had to use a John Deere. I was told to use John Deere more. <laughs> that, that I think, I, I forgot which one it was. It was a very, very big one though. Uh, fairly modern as well. I know that. <laughs> That's all I can tell you though about that. Right, so that's that done. Just this main area to go now. So, thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you have enjoyed this episode on Thornton Farm. There we go. Finally got the map main right. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video, as it really does help me out. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.